Hey everybody, Jazzy here. I've been developing a new strategy for fighting Crab King with Wickerbottom's Grumblebees, and I wanted to share it with you. It doesn't require any weather pains and is one of the cheapest methods I've ever used for this boss. So I'll talk you through the strategy and then I'll show you a clip of the entire fight from a recent Twitch stream. Now, I was first inspired by Slasher, who did a great Crab King rush and basically used this brute force approach of hopping around to new boats while the Grumblebees dished out the damage. I love the idea and I wanted to expand the strategy to work for a pearled Crab King. Now with enough Grumblebees attacking, Wicker can cancel most of Crab King's heal attempts. The problem is, as soon as he casts the freeze spell, all the bees get frozen, giving him the opportunity to heal if Wicker's busy dealing with the claws. Fortunately, Wicker has a unique solution to this problem which I am excited to demonstrate. Here's the recommended gear for the fight. A boat? I mean, yeah. Yeah, you kind of need a boat. An anchor, a decent weapon, such as a handbat, any insulating clothing like a tam, a stack of boards, a driftwood, or three to four ice staves, and Wicker's secret weapon, a tempering temperatures book. You can make two of these if you want. They're not too expensive, and they're actually quite useful. To summon the bees, you will need apicultural notes, which can be prototyped at a bookcase. If you make three to four of these books, you should be able to max out your Grumblebee followers without breaking any of the books allowing them to regenerate inside of a bookcase. Now sail out to Crab King and orient your boat so that the plank is either facing directly towards him or away from him. This will help to keep only two claws in range of your boat. I'd recommend some light such as a star color staff, but don't cast these too close to Crab King. Yes, they will thaw out Grumblebees faster, but they could also prevent you from freezing the boss. Also, before the fight, be sure to max out your sanity. You're going to be using books and staves, and you don't want to have to take a break to fight nightmare creatures. Now drop your anchor and position your boat so that you're as far away as possible, but still able to socket 8 purple gems. As soon as you socket the pearl, row 4 times away from Crab King, then immediately freeze him with 6 ice staff hits. The Grumblebees will start to do damage, and you should also attack. Crab King will do one more geyser cast before summoning the claws. While he heals, you should focus on getting the claws off your boat as quickly as possible. Now he's going to start doing the ice cast. Run to the back of the boat, and as soon as the bees freeze, read your tempering temperatures book. This will immediately unfreeze them. The ice cast is also a good time to repair your boat with the boards, as long as you're out of attack range. That's basically the pattern of the fight. Kill the claws when they spawn, use ice saves to cancel the geysers, and during the freeze spell, back off, read the temperature book, and repair your boat. The rest of the time, just get in there and do as much damage as you can. As long as you keep those Grumblebees active and unfrozen, Crab King won't be able to heal faster than he takes damage and the fight will be over pretty fast. Just keep an eye on your boat health and you should be good to go. So now I'm gonna play for you the entire fight using this method. And this is from my recent run of Wickerbottom in a Lights Out world, and you can see how fast the whole thing goes down. Here it is. Without further ado, Let's go! Just four. Now we begin. Charge, yes. Three, four, five, six. Okay, start taking out these guys. I just gotta remember to repair the boat. That's the one thing that can go wrong. This is the ice? Okay. You can read the book. They will resume fighting. And that's it. That's how we win this. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine hits. That's great. Yeah, I see he's healing a little bit, but it's no big deal. Ooh. Time for a book. He should be dead pretty soon.
Oh, I gotta repair the boat. That's it. He did. And that's all there is to it. Let me know if you have any questions about this strategy, and thank you so much for watching. See you next time.